to set the world on fire. Oh, hi. Just sitting up here. It's quite peaceful, isn't it? Just wondering what are probably the best Fallout 4 building glitches that there are. Probably the most important one of them all is the size reduction glitch because it, without it you wouldn't be able to build monumental structures. Of course you'd want to store your weapons you use away in some bins and then have a bunch of extra weapons that you can drop on the ground and then store in the workshop using the workshop menu. And you're going to have to store each one, one by one, and but it does reduce the size limit. Now, I guess you could destroy them and get the materials, but that just leaves you with no weapons to do that in the future. But of course, if you do that enough times, your bar is going to be so full that you're going to need to travel to home plate from that location to ensure that your game doesn't crash on you. There have been some reported cases of errors um, from overbuild limits. I'm not sure what those what they could be, uh, but they do happen. Now you can build over the size limit, but how do you get the resources to build so much? I guess for that you'd probably have to go into the workshop menu with your material and then scrap and immediately store the object afterwards. And of course after that you would have to drop them both and re-scrap them into the workshop to make sure that when you picked them up they would be as one scrapped pile. For this we'll probably want to break it down into specific commands, which on PlayStation it would be square, x, circle, and on Xbox it would be x, a, b. And this would be as quickly as possible and in sequence. Hit one, release it, hit the next, release it, hit the next, release it, as fast as you can. If done correctly, you would hear the material being scrapped and be left with an option to store the material in your workshop. Your workshop would then read twice as many as it had previously, which when dropped in a single pile would end up appearing as two, both a pile of one material and a pile of many materials which would of course need to be scrapped to ensure that they all count as scrapped materials. But what if you didn't want to build big and you didn't need all the resources and you just wanted to settle down in a nice little shack out in the wasteland? To repair and decorate your little house on the coast, you'd probably want to utilize the mat glitch, which is simply stacking a bunch of mats on one another, could even be one or two, and then putting any object on top of the top mat. If you were to select the mat under the object, and if the object was to move freely, then that means that all the objects on top of the mat share only the collision of the mat you are currently selecting. This of course breaks all laws of nature, but would allow you to place any sort of non-structural object in any horizontal fashion from any rug you may use. And let us not forget that if you were to reduce the rugs by one, it would reduce the height of the object by one mat thick unit. I guess the best benefit to using the mat glitch would probably be its versatility without having to use any sort of mods for console. Thinking about it, having a lot of mats and having to drop each one by one mat thick might be a problem unless you were trying to utilize that as a way to repair floors with other rugs. You'd be able to put a larger rug on a smaller rug and store the smaller rug in the workshop therefore dropping the larger rug in the floor one mat thick unit 
without resorting to more bulky measures. That would probably be the best way to repair all the uneven gaps in the flooring in many settlement areas. Now if you were to get really creative, you could use a structural piece on the line of rugs and then pick them up as one piece by holding the selection button. This would still give you the ability to use a single mats collision while giving you the, also the ability to repair some walls that are not currently available to be repaired. Surprisingly enough, you can actually use this technique on numerous pieces, but as the piece increases in thickness, so does the problems with placing it in other objects. Most notably, the Wasteland Workshop DLC Concrete would not be usable in this fashion. The thicker pieces of concrete don't work well with the thinner pieces of walls. But this does not stop one from using it for any sort of thin walls or even door frames and doors to get the nice clean look that they are looking for in their newly renovated home on the coast. Of course, just having walls in the unforgiving wasteland wouldn't nearly be enough as you'd probably get eaten by a rad roach before you woke up in the morning. So it would be important to have a functioning door inside your dwelling to make sure that you are safe at night. One of the more ridiculous yet still useful glitches would most likely be the fact that so many objects will stay in the air once you remove the platform from underneath them, including the new garden plots which you can place water pumps on that will remain in the air even after the garden plot is no longer underneath them which is very important in low space conditions. Perhaps the final element to this building debacle would be the distribution of power throughout the complex. This could simply be accomplished by putting a pre-connected power pylon on a series of mats and placing those mats in a position to put the pylon on the other side of a wall. The wire will remain connected and allow power to still be distributed. Utilizing this technique would allow you to put power anywhere you wanted it without affecting any of the previously placed objects through workshop mode. You could even probably put the power directly in the walls hiding your power connections entirely. Thank you so much for watching, and I do hope you learned something from this video. Maybe two things. Possibly even three things. Three things would be awesome. And I also hope you check out one of those videoly doodahs in the bottom left hand corner of the screen, as I'm sure they're related to this video. Otherwise, why would I put them there, right?